Lieutenant Colonel Brian Dillon, and Commander of Task Force Quick Strike 3rd of the 159th Aviation out of Billesheim, Germany. Uh, my hometown is Hampton, Virginia. Okay, sir, uh, what was the 3rd of the 159th mission while here in the theater here in Iraq? Uh, third of the 159th, once we deployed to Iraq, we immediately became Task Force Quick Strike, which was a, a battalion task force a combination of both Apache helicopters, which we brought with us from Germany, and UH-60 Blackhawk General Support Helicopters, uh, who joined us here in theater. Our mission was to provide aviation support to all the soldiers who were working outside the wire here in Iraq. And that was a combination of attack helicopter support as well as moving soldiers uh, from point to point and conducting air assault missions. Okay. Uh, how was your unit's mission accomplished while in theater? Uh, throughout this deployment, which is... Oh, uh, wait just a second. Okay. Uh, our mission uh, was accomplished very well. We are very successful. Uh, we uh, transported literally thousands of soldiers from from different locations. Uh, we conducted dozens of air assaults with both U.S. soldiers and Iraqi soldiers. Uh, and that's probably one of the most successful aspects of what we've done is help to develop the Iraqi army become a more capable force uh, and so that they are able to defend their country when we return to our country. Uh, any areas or achievements you'd like to highlight? I think it, from this phase of the war, the, uh, the one achievement, the most lasting achievement, will be the cooperation we had with the Iraqi army and helping them to develop their tactics, techniques, and procedures. Uh, we conducted the first ever air assault with Iraqi forces uh, while here at, during this rotation. Uh, that was U.S. helicopters flying Iraqi soldiers. We also conducted an air assault using uh, Iraqi helicopters escorted by U.S. attack helicopters and uh, we conducted a combined arms live fire exercise, which was both a U.S. and Iraqi endeavor. And I think those will probably be our most lasting contributions is uh, our ability to help train the Iraqi army uh, to defend their country. Yeah. Uh, in 20 years from now, much of this will be forgotten. What elements of this deployment would you like to have remembered? I think for me, what I will remember the most is, is the tenacity of the, of the U.S. soldier, uh, the U.S. soldier's ability to, to work day in and day out at a difficult task. Uh, what we do here in, in these conditions, uh, hot weather, uh, dusty, windy environment is difficult, and they come to work every day uh, flying a helicopter in this country five or six to eight hours a day is, is very physically demanding. Soldiers who work on the helicopter in the heat or in the dark, that's very physically demanding. But the U.S. soldiers keep coming back every day. They've always had an excellent attitude, uh, and our soldiers have always been prepared every day to accomplish the mission professionally and safely. Uh, any final thoughts for those people back home watching? Uh, throughout the, the last nine or ten months, we've, we've got uh, great support from people back home, people we don't know. Uh, people who don't know us, and we try whenever we, whenever possible to, to uh, tell them thank you by sending them cards or notes or emails, uh, but to everybody at home who's done anything to support us over here, uh, certainly every soldier appreciates the gifts, the, uh, the packages, the letters, the artworks from the schools. All of those are very greatly appreciated, and, and we thank you for all your continued support.